Hey everybody, it's Jason with All Star Welding back at you with another exciting video. Are you struggling with welding expanded metal onto like a trailer gate or something like that? And every time you try, you just burn it up? I'm going to show you one simple trick that's going to take all that pain away. Stay tuned. Okay, so obviously I did this on purpose, but you can see that that's not even attached. And what I see a lot of people doing is, well, for one, they've got their uh, settings too high. But uh, what they'll do is they'll try to weld right where that joint is, where they touch, and try to make like a fillet weld. And all it does is burn the other end up, and they wind up trying to chase this end to try to catch it. And it just keeps on going up. Uh, that's not the way to do it, and uh, you wind up with this. I'm going to show you one simple tip that's going to change your life when it comes to welding expanded metal. Okay, so this is what we're looking for. We're looking for one nice little bead on here that's going to join the base metal and the expanded metal without burning it up. I'm going to show you how to do this, and I call it the one, two, three method. Okay, so for my one, two, three method, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start right here on the base metal. I'm gonna to count to one. I'm gonna move it over here, make another count. That's two, and I'm gonna push it up on this, and then I'm gonna let go, that's three. So that's one, two, three. And the idea is um, that you want to set your voltage for the expanded metal, not for your base metal. And then you're going to make a nice little puddle. You're going to move the puddle over. And then you're going to push it up onto there. And then you're going to let go. Let me show you an example. Okay, so I'm going to do this joint and this joint. And we'll try to do it without knocking over the tripod. And there you go, that's all it takes. And that is securely welded onto that plate. Well, there you go, guys. Doesn't get any easier than that. Uh, using my one, two, three method, you'll be able to put your expanded metal down on a gate so much faster and it'll look so much more professional. For more tips and tricks like this, make sure you subscribe. And if there's anything that you'd like to see, leave a comment down below and I'll get to it. I'm Jason. Have a great weekend.